Hello everyone, this is ASM Arif today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you the techniques of blending mode and the pictures and the ink splash and this type of effect with the portrait or the ink effect whatever you can tell. So let's start the tutorial. Before we start my tutorial, please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So here is the options the file and take new i'll take uh, custom artboard which is the 2560 and 1440 and giving the name ink and the rgb color mode and hit the create button you'll get the white background and after that go to the adjustment layer and solid color take white one ff ff so hit the ok button and unlock the layer which is the background and delete this one we don't need that we have the color like uh, fill color the white color if you need you can change the color of the background so that's why we have taken the fill color which is the solid color and after that go to the file options and place embedded here is the ink splash or ink shape in a water and i'll give you that stock download link in my video description and hit the place button okay you will get that and hit the tick button and after that just select this thing that means the ink layer and rename this one right press and restylize the layer okay we restylize that and press ctrl t i'll make it smaller like that yeah and hit the tick button we'll take the advantage of the white color so how to do that select uh, this color fill color or this background options i'm giving the name the bg okay and then again go to the solid color and take another white one and hit ok and select these two things the upper things the ink one and two that means bg2 okay these two things select these two things and right press and merge the layer so what we have done we have this type of fill color that means we made the ink uh, like this like a one canvas okay after that select the background layer and go to the file and place embed it now i will import the portrait and hit the ok button okay then i'll down the opacity of the ink and i'll reposition this one so this portrait press the shift button actually shift button and just reposition the portrait press ctrl t and proper shape if you need so adjust the shape with the face and an ink and just adjust with it I cover up the hair just because of ink will be appear on that okay that's fine i think yeah that's the good and hit the tick button and opacity up 100 percent and go to the blending mode and make it a screen yeah you are getting this so now you can press ctrl t and you can change the options like this or this one is pretty good and then select these three things and then make it group and make it merge or snapshot after doing that go to the gradient options select this gradient make it radial zero degree reverse dither and the around 350 that's cool and hit the ok button and after that go to the adjustment layer again and photo filter i'll add a photo filter like this the warm color that means it could be ffd904 the color code and hit ok so our image is almost ready so after that i'll down the opacity a little bit yeah 
that's good that's fine and then go to the color balance and make the color a little bit too wormy like that and that's good okay so our image is ready photo filter i'll increase the photo filter like this and the gradient if you need you can adjust the things all the things you can adjust so and then the level i'll adjust the level if you need you'll just level it so this one is good our image is ready so thank you so much thanks for watching my video as well if you have any kind of question query with you guys please do comment in my video comment section and until the next video i may say i'm signing out bye bye